Fall asleep fast with a sleep story for grown-ups. You are listening to Christmas Market in Ireland, a bedtime story to help you relax and unwind. Travel to Galway or the City of Tribes to enjoy an annual Christmas market. The port town comes to life with holiday lights and market stalls. The cool air carries the perfume of holiday tidings and the Atlantic. After a festive day, you return to a thatched roof cottage as freezing fog rolls in with a night of cold rain. Safe and nestled by the fire, in the glow of lights from a Christmas tree, the sounds of rain and crackling wood help you drift into a deep sleep. It's time to dream away. I'd like to welcome you to Michelle's Sanctuary. I am Michelle, and as you listen, let my voice carry you like a seaside breeze to swells of serenity and contentment that roll in like a tide. I hope this experience brings the most precious and honored time of the day for you when all attention is on your comfort and needs. In a busy world, during this busy time of year, it is so easy to get wrapped up in to-do lists. But right now, Everything that disrupts your quest for sleep can wait for another time. You deserve this moment for yourself. You deserve to self-soothe and set the tone for your dreaming life in this time-honored practice of settling down. Customize the details to best suit you. Your experience may be different with each listen, but all that matters is right now. And you are free to fall asleep at any point you desire. As you settle into your bed, open your mouth and let out a big sigh. And with this sigh, sink into the comforts of your bed. Let everything go with intention. You intend to be free of tension and stress. And your breath is here to support this mission. In the sanctuary of your room, you can sigh all you wish. Let out a second audible sigh. The sound comes out of you with the same carefree energy of the Atlantic Ocean crashing on the coast of Ireland. At your pace, inhale through your nose. Imagine the air is misty and cool aromatized by the sea. Your nasal cavity warms the healing air before it fills your lungs and your body expands. When you have sipped in all the air you can, open your mouth and yawn. This yawn slows down your brain activity and signals to your body that you may surrender. Then exhale with a sigh. Do this again at your own pace in the way that feels right for you as you inhale the fragrant air. Yawn and sigh. 
Your torso ebbs and flows like the ocean with each cycle of breath. One more time. Inhale. Yawn. And sigh. Appreciate your ability to regulate your body and return your breath to normal. You have created the ideal conditions for your imagination to guide you. It's time for the story to begin. Take, if you must, this little bag of dreams. Unloose the cord and they will wrap you round. W.B. Yeats Some say that the spirit of Yeats can be felt on misty days in Galway. Every soul has the magical power to dream, and such dreams come to life at the Christmas market in the city. The harbor city stands where the Atlantic meets the river Corrib, the winding lanes of cafes, pubs, boutiques, and galleries thrive within the stone-clad walls erected in medieval times. Considered one of the brightest jewels of West Ireland, Galway's popular dwellings are in vibrant hues of red, cobalt, emerald, and yellow. The pops of color on the facades and trims create hope on the dreariest of winter days. Come time for the annual Christmas market, the primary colors reflect on the wet cobblestones to double their beauty. Golden holiday lights dangle and sparkle like fairy dust scattered throughout the cozy lanes. Market stalls fill Air Square, a historic park, once a medieval open space before a town gate known as the Green. A ferris wheel showers the market in silvery white and icy blue light. White picket fences surround a lush green lawn decorated with oversized candy canes that rise out of the damp earth like red and white striped forests. Wooden gingerbread men and women the size of small children pose like hosts for the market, standing at full attention. Hand-painted scarlet red lips and wide toothy smiles decorate the gingerbread heads. The figurines stand around a gingerbread house that awakens the imaginations of children and the adults who never left their childlike imagination behind. You walk through the market on a misty night. The threat of frozen fog and freezing rain has kept many away from the market. You revel in the freedom to explore the festival with minimal crowds. Yet you also feel grateful for interactions with brave souls who, like you, cannot be deterred by the elements. The silvery mist adds an air of romance to the heart of Galway as everything shines and shimmers in its wake. You wear a locally made sweater and a trench coat cinched around your waist with a wide belt. Your soft scarf remains high upon your chin, sealing in the warmth of your body. You take in a deep breath and smell the fragrant notes of cinnamon, cloves, and butterscotch that flavor steamy winter warmers 
served in cafes. You walk beneath a canopy of rainbow lights wrapped around the skeletal branches of barren trees. In the absence of leaves, the bright colorful lights add hope and beauty to the dark silhouettes. You come upon dozens of rows of market stalls staged like open-air wooden chalets. They sell crafts, sweaters, treats, and holiday gifts. You pass a stall that smells of Christmas, of evergreen trees and festive treats. Inside the modest chalet, is a young artist who crafts magical worlds inside candle holders filled with gel, ice skating scenes, snow-dusted evergreen forests, and thatched roof stone cottages along rustling streams are recreated in the candle holders. They are drawn to a piece that reminds you of the historic stone cottage where you are staying for the night. The young artist greets you with, Giaquich, or God be with you. You say hello and look around. She pulls back the sleeves of her thick cable knit green sweater and draws a wooden match from a drawer behind the display. She strikes the match against the table and lights a tea light candle within one of her creations. Within the glass holder, you see the cliffs of mohair and white-capped blue-green waves that glow in the amber candlelight. These worlds are like the miniature landscapes found within a snow globe delicately assembled with silver tweezers and an artist's vision. The gel surrounding these tiny worlds contains natural oils that bring the smells of Irish woodlands and the sea. You purchase the candle jar that reminds you of your cottage. The artist carefully wraps it in brown paper and places it in a gift bag, along with a complimentary box of matches. You thank her, grateful for this unique piece of Ireland to come home with you, and you continue to explore the market. You walk by a stall selling wreaths and boughs of holly and ivy, the clean, minty perfume of evergreens washes over you and causes you to walk closer. The vendor explains to a little girl in a scarlet velvet coat with ivory faux fur trim that long ago in Ireland, before the Christmas tree was popular, ivy and holly would fill the home with good cheer and it was believed that more holly berries meant more luck in the new year. You enjoy being an observer as you walk through the Christmas market. You travel from scene to scene of human interactions and festive moments unfolding before you like a lush welcome carpet of kindness and bliss. A fiddler plays classic Christmas melodies atop a modest stage made of rustic wood. The bow gracefully glides across the strings, maneuvered by the musician's slender hand, dressed in glittery fingerless gloves to stay warm. You come upon the Ferris wheel where the young boy begs his mother to go for a ride. 
she seems overwhelmed with a swaddled newborn resting on her chest and a toddler fast asleep in his stroller. She explains to the boy that even though she promised to take him, he cannot ride alone and she cannot leave his siblings. The child turns to you with teary eyes and then looks back at his mother. The mother looks at you, hoping for backup from another adult to confirm the child cannot ride alone. You introduce yourself and mention that you are going to ride the Ferris wheel but don't want to be alone in the cabin. You ask the mother if she knows of someone who might want to join you. The mother smiles from relief and avoiding a meltdown from her little boy. For his father had promised the child for weeks that he could see the top of Galway when they came to the festival. But his father had been kept late at work doing his best to make extra money for the holidays. The child's eyes widen, and the Christmas tree and Ferris wheel reflect in his shiny blue irises. The mother offers to pay, but you insist in the spirit of the holidays. It's a gift. You ask the young chap his name, and he says it's Liam, a name for warriors. You softly laugh. His sadness has been transformed into feistiness and deep appreciation. The wheel spins around a few more times until it's time to board. Liam skips to the pod in excitement and turns to his mother to wave before climbing in. She silently mouths the words, thank you, and you follow the boy into the glowing cabin. The ride attendant asks if you are both settled and then closes the door. As the Ferris wheel slowly climbs above the Christmas market, Liam excitedly details his visit with Santa. He whispers to you conspiratorially, My wish was that my pa would take me on this ride, but I'm glad you're here with me because you showed up like magic. Your heart warms, and you see yourself at his age your mind drifting to a time when the world and simple pleasures brought this much enthusiasm. Liam points to a glittering pool of darkness and says he can almost view the sea. He insists the ride is taking you both as high as Santa's sleigh flies on Christmas Eve. Cool, salty air rushes through the windowless cabin as the Ferris wheel goes round and round. Your heart swells as you take in the beauty below. Your cheeks burn from a persistent smile that cannot leave your face. And every now and then you wave to Liam's mom letting her know her boy is safe. Liam laughs and hugs his small belly, exclaiming that his tummy tickles when the wheel ascends. The ride comes to a pause, and your cabin swings gently back and forth before coming to stillness at the top of the ride. Liam looks at you curiously and asks, What did you ask Santa for? Your answer comes with care. 
You think about the vendor describing the abundant holly berries that decorate the market to inspire luck for a new year. There are many things you could say or wish for, but you yearn for a life that brings moments as pleasant as this one. These simple, unexpected, joyous moments cause all the unwanted challenges in life to fade into the background. You imagine a life where your heart and mind focus on beautiful adventures, magic, and unexpected connections like this while paying less attention to the disruptions to your peace. You tell the small boy, who patiently waits for your answer, that you got your wish by taking this ride with him. Liam's face beams. Your words cause the boy to feel seen. He feels his value in being part of creating this new memory. Similarly, you feel valued for helping his Christmas wish come true. The frost fog rolls in slowly, creating ice crystals on the lawn and trees in a cloudy blanket of silver white. The wheel comes around and stops so you and Liam may disembark. The boy excitedly runs to his mother, detailing the ride in animated chatter. He asks if she saw him at the top of the sky. She tells him he looked so brave way up in the sky. She smiles at you and reminds Liam to thank you for your time. The boy runs back to you and wraps his small arms around your leg in a hug. His cheerful voice exclaims, Thank you. Happy Christmas. When you book a trip like this one, you rarely imagine that an experience like this will be the memory that remains the brightest in the years to come. After a round of holiday wishes with the family, you say goodbye. The market begins to close down a bit early as the storm rolls in. You walk through the fog, comforted from its chill by your many layers. Ice crystals float in the air and melt on your nose and lips, tasting a bit like the sea. The frozen crystals sparkle on lampposts and street signs as you walk to the west end. Golden holiday lights swing over the cobblestone lanes to illuminate the intricate designs of the incoming ice crystals. You arrive at the river. The night is so quiet you can hear the current and the soft crinkling melody of ice. Wood smoke squiggles out of the chimneys of historic homes that line a residential block. The smoky and peppery aroma marries the metallic smell of the fog. Holiday lights glitter around the perimeters of stone cottages with vibrantly painted doors in hues of bubblegum pink, crimson, kelly green, and sapphire blue. You cross a stone bridge over the reflective ebony water. Candles glow in white-trimmed windows 
of homes that are over a century old, offering hope and warmth. The frost coats verdant hedges and ivy cascading down stone facades in a mystical opal sheen. At times it feels as though you are walking through a dream until you round a corner and a blustering breeze lands on your face and brings you back to the moment. Your adventurous spirit is overcome by sleepiness as you continue on the quiet road that leads to your thatch roof cottage. One of the oldest cottages in Galway, it retains its original style long after its neighboring homes became modernized. You walk along a canal and feel the respect and appreciation for a land that honors its waterways and the sea in poems and songs. Holiday music plays from a bed and breakfast where guests gather in the main room and celebrate. The intimate gathering makes you smile and once again appreciate this time of year Holiday lights twinkle on the canal and you come to the bright red door of the white cottage. Frost covers the thatch roof like sparkling icing on shredded wheat. Bells jingle on the lush wreath hung on the front door as you step into the warm cottage. You flip on a switch and the holiday tree lights up in soft rainbow hues that reflect on the frost-covered six-paned window behind it. The colorful glow pours over the wooden floors and white walls. Water droplets bead on your resistant coat as the ice crystals melt. The wind whistles down the lane and makes you deeply appreciate arriving at the cozy, warm dwelling. You remove your shoes and step into plush slippers lined with faux sheepskin. You remove your new candle from the gift bag and place it atop the mantel. A brass antique matchbox sits near the hearth, engraved with a quote from Yeats. Education is not the filling of a pail, but the lighting of a fire. You take a long wooden match and light the candle wick. As the flame flickers, you inhale the natural holiday aromas and watch the artistic world within the glass jar come to life. The candle holder is like a time capsule that captures this dreamy moment in Galway. You ignite crumpled newspaper below a teepee of tinder in the stone fireplace. The paper catches and soon the wood crackles and burns. You add a log and feel proud of the fire you built as the amber light warms your face and hands. The moment feels timeless. 
You settle into an overstuffed chair that hugs around you. You wrap yourself in a crocheted chenille blanket in a color that most soothes you. Rain begins to fall and taps against the windows in a staccato patter. The thatched roof softens the sound as if the raindrops fall on a bale of hay. These simple pleasures in this moment bring you joy. The relief from the cold. A quiet respite from the celebratory moments at the market. The beauty and the contrast of each experience on this evening. The way you feel satiated, calm, and appreciative. The hypnotic orange gold flames cause your eyes to blear. And you vow to be more attentive comforts and beauty that may be found throughout each day. You form an intention to be a moment collector, letting each moment serve as evidence that the world is kind and offers a state of breathtaking beauty. The rain trickles down the window panes, melting the coating of ice crystals in its wake. You yawn and reach for a volume of poetry that rests on a hand-carved side table as old as the walls of the cottage. You randomly turn to a page, imagining it will contain the most important message for you to come across on this cozy winter night. It's not all that surprising that the words of Yeats find you again. The passage reads, The world is full of magic things patiently waiting for our senses to grow sharper. You reflect on the adventures of the night, recognizing how magic could be found in every crystal formed by nature, in the splendor of a fire, in the hopeful voice of Liam in the artisan's details and in the rustic cottage where you now find peace. As the sensations of this moment take on the softness of a camera lens coated in Vaseline as once employed in old films you hope for your awareness of these feelings to sharpen each day. After a night of sleep, you may awaken to the magic of a new day. You may become aware of the abundant sparkle and glow that creates hope in the darkest of winter days. You begin to drift between worlds as a soundtrack of falling rain and a crackling fire usher you to sleep. Slipping, 
drifting through the gentleness of this moment, safe, warm, and dry. You enjoy the melodic rain as you surrender to rest. With each breath, you are one breath closer to the repose and dreams that you seek. Drifting down, down, down towards rest, towards serenity, towards sleep, finding bliss, finding magic, Finding solace, finding sleep. It's time to dream away.